Oh, hey, I'm sorry. I'm just looking at this text message that I got from my coworker last night. It's Friday, and it appears as though we're going to an after-work affair when we get off of work. So I need to put a little bit of thought into my makeup look because I need to choose products that are what's going to withstand an entire work day, then roll over into the evening. I wonder what products I should use. I also wonder what kind of makeup looks my other coworkers are going to create. I wish that I had a magic mirror so that I could see their looks. <laughs> I've done my brows off camera. I will now clean them up with a little concealer. Today I will be using Saba Med Moisturizing Cream. Seeing as I will be wearing my makeup for an extended amount of time, I will need to protect my complexion. I will gently apply and massage the cream into my skin. Thinking about the longevity of all my products, I have selected the Maquillage line. This is their Poreless Filter Primer. I love it so much as it gives my complexion a smooth and silky texture. The packaging is absolutely beautiful. I would prefer if it were in a tube rather than a pump bottle so that I could get full use of its contents. After applying my primer, I will base my lids with a concealer. I have chosen to use the Anastasia of Beverly Hills Full Coverage Concealer. I apologize for the blurry clip, but the shade is number 14. The concealer's formulation is creamy and moisturizing. I did blend it out while it was still damp so that the coverage would be even instead of patchy. I have selected a shadow quad from Makeup Geek that I put together myself. My transitional shade will be this buttery matte. This shade appears to be in the deep sand clay family. The shade name is Latte as usual. I will apply this in the space above my crease and blend with a round blender. On my entire lid space, I will apply another matte shadow. This shadow is a deep olive shade and is named Olive U. I will use a medium-sized type C brush to apply the shadow. I'm going to gently pull and bring this shade just slightly above the crease to meet the first shade. Time to complete my complexion. I will be using the After Party Full Coverage Foundation by Makey Age in shade 170. I will be using my short kabuki brush from ZC. This brush's fibers are soft and spaced closely together and assure a smooth, seamless finish. To highlight and conceal my under eye area, I will be using the ABH concealer in shade number 14. I have allowed the concealer to set up a bit prior to blending out. To bronze and contour, I am using Glow by Revolution Beauty in the shade medium.
I am now dusting off the setting powder that I applied over the concealed areas by Pimby in the shade medium. I am going to build up and lengthen my lashes using my YLS mascara in black. To add a bit of rosiness to my cheeks, I will use the shade toasted from my Alamar Trio palette. I will set my makeup look with Morphe setting spray. I will gently press the setting spray into my complexion. Let me brush my hair into place. I love my 10 inch deep sea part bob from Hype Hair Plug. A little hair wax will prolong my style. Now for a little lip gloss. My gosh, it's time to leave the house for work. Let me grab my glasses and pack my purse with a few things. I have a mini travel size brush set from Sigma. I've packed my eyeshadow quad, eyeliner, and lip pencil. I also threw in a set of eyelashes and my lash adhesive. Everything into my purse and I can't forget my lip gloss. Off to work I go. My goodness, I was so very glad to punch that clock today. It's time to take my makeup look from day to evening. Returning to my shadow quad, I'm going to pick up a creamy, shimmery shade called Jester. Beginning with my inner third, I'm going to apply this shadow onto my lid and go halfway across. As I approach the midpoint, I'm going to blend this gesture shade with the olive shade. Next, I'll apply a black eyeliner to my waterline. This eyeliner is by NYX. And right under the waterline, I'll apply a little bit of the Jester shade. It's time to apply my eyelashes. I'll begin this step using my Kiss Liner Lash Adhesive in the shade Clear. Now I will set down my strip eyelash. These eyelashes are from Timu. To line my lips, I'll be using Juvia's Luxe Liner in the shade Coco Latte. And I'll reuse the same lip gloss from earlier, which is from Rugi Beauty in the shade number three. This shade is a soft neutral pink. And with that, I'm all ready for an evening of fun with my co-workers. I appreciate you selecting my video to watch this evening. Please go and watch the videos of my co-workers. I'll be leaving their channel links in my description box area. Make sure that when you visit their channels, you watch their videos in full and leave them a like. The ladies have been working very hard to bring you great content.
Thank you so much. Let's have some fun. See you next time. Everyone have a blessed evening. Bye.